What's going on YouTube? GSNow right here. So in today's video I have some great news for those of you waiting for an iOS 11.3 or iOS 11.2.x jailbreak. Progress is being made. Just an hour ago, MeanSpark Zeng has posted this on Twitter, quote, got root shell on the latest iOS 11.3 and he posts a screenshot in which he clearly shows that he has indeed root access to the device. This is massive, especially since the root access is definitely required in a jailbreak. If his vulnerability is able to do this, this is pretty much going to be very, very great. Now, I'm pretty sure that he managed to do this. He's not a fake developer. He's definitely a good security researcher from Alibaba. And if you remember well, he posted just a couple days ago, quote, well, break ASLR and gain arbitrary kernel read and write on iOS 11.3 pretty much saying that he managed to pawn the kernel itself. And that is of course visible now when he got root access by probably patching something in the kernel. Now if you remember he also said, quote, we submitted a talk about these vulnerabilities and exploit techniques to a conference. If the talk is accepted, we will help Apple to fix the problems and disclose the detail of the vulnerabilities. So all these vulnerabilities he's talking about in iOS 11.3 and of course lower since they are compatible will definitely be released if his talk is accepted at the conference. So he definitely has the intention to make it publicly available. And if he does, this will definitely be a massive step towards iOS 11.3, iOS 11.2.6, 11.2.5, 11.2.2, 11.2 .2, and so on, jailbreak. So yeah, definitely massive news. Having root access to the device is definitely something that doesn't happen without a lot of knowledge and without a proper exploit. So yeah, I really hope that his talk will be accepted because if it's accepted, then of course we will get to see the details of the vulnerabilities. And he seems to be uh, very involved in these vulnerabilities because at first, of course, he got uh, his zero day that survived in iOS 11.3. And of course it's present on 11.2.6 and lower. And then he started to work towards the KSLR to gain arbitrary read and write on the kernel. And now he got a root, which is of course very important. And apparently uh, if you take a look at the picture in here, he's doing it from his MacBook. And you can see the Darwin kernel version in here. So it's definitely legit. Do not believe that uh, this guy is fake or something like that. He's a known security researcher. So everything he is posting is trust worthy. Now, thank you for watching. This is pretty much it. I'm going to keep you updated with anything that he posts that is important for the jailbreak because this helps you to pretty much have a better picture on which versions are stable and which versions are okay for jailbreak and which versions are not. For the moment, if you're running iOS 11.3, stay there. Even though the beta 2 for the uh, iOS 11.4 has been released yesterday by Apple, and if you're running iOS 11.2.6, 11.2.5, 11.2.2, or even 11.2, do not update to 11.3. It's better to stay on a lower version. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do not forget to subscribe. I'm Geo Snow. Peace out.